Today we're starting chapter 9, which is on the Pythagorean Theorem. This is going to be a review, at least in part for some of you guys today, as you remember the Pythagorean Theorem from last year, but we're also going to add a few things to it, so there will be some new material that you will need to know. So let's take a look at the right triangle right here. In a right triangle, the side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. And the other two sides are called legs. So on our right triangle below, we've got a right angle here, and that means that the side opposite would be called the hypotenuse. And we just label the other two sides as the legs of the right triangle. So leg, leg, hypotenuse. Now the Pythagorean theorem is named after Pythagoras, one of the most famous mathematicians that we study. And he discovered that in a right triangle, the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs equals the square of the length of the hypotenuse. And we state that in an equation, formula equation, called a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. This will be one of those formulas, one of these equations that you'll remember long after you're done with geometry. Some of you guys will go on to do math in college. Some of you guys won't do as much math in college, but you probably will remember the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. All right, now below we see a couple examples of sort of geometric proofs of the Pythagorean theorem. Notice that literally it means that you take the square off of the one leg, and notice this square right here has nine square units in it, and then a square off of the other leg, and notice that this square right here has a total of 16 square units, and those two together, these two together, should add up to the square off of the hypotenuse. And if you count these up, you are going to count 5 by 5, which is 25. And we know 9 plus 16 equals 25. So that is an example. The one that I also have over on the right side here is the same idea. We have our right triangle right here. And we have one square down on the bottom off of one leg, and then we have another square off of the other leg, and then we have the square off of the hypotenuse. And one of the things that we sometimes can do, and maybe we'll do this in class, is see if we can cut apart each of the squares and actually piece it together so it fits just perfectly jigsawed in to the square off of the hypotenuse. So you can see the one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and how those all appear over here in the square off of the hypotenuse. 